plastic comes from the Greek word plastikos, meaning to form, because it can be so easily molded into different shapes. Since the first plastic Bakelite was discovered in 1909, plastic has come to form a large part of the modern world. To make this fish, liquid polythene was heated to about 200 degrees centigrade and poured into a mold. When cooled, it retains its shape, becoming rigid yet light. As we move towards an air bubble at 150 times magnification, we discover a strange pattern of concentric circles. Each circle is part of the surface of a sphere called a spheriolite. As the plastic slowly cools, the spheriolites balloon out, merging with each other, leaving valleys and domes. This cohesive structure means plastic is strong and immune to corrosion. Its appeal is also that it's cheap to manufacture and its raw elements, coal, cellulose and petroleum, are widely available. But plastic is a victim of its own success. Its structure makes it so robust that it's not commonly biodegradable. Plastic litter can stay around for decades. To know more about plastic, we must look further into these long chains of polythene molecules that busily overlap each other. But this disorganized, dense structure prevents the microscope from seeing further. Everything now appears grainy and out of focus. Beyond this, nothing more is visible. For the moment. Tomorrow at the same time, get the inside view of wood.